Yeah. Okay, so welcome back to my channel. So what I'm going to do, this is going to be different. I'm going to revive this wig because I definitely want to wear it tomorrow. And it's not the only short wig I have, but it's the only short synthetic wig I have. Anybody know that this is Juli the Ju Julianne wig that I cut short into a nice bob. But, baby, she's tangled. She's a matted mess. Um, there's only so much brushing I can do to her. So what I'm going to do and what this video is, is me reviving my synthetic wig. So hopefully you love it and you like it. So until then, let's kind of get into it. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to be doing the voiceover from here. And as you see me right now, I'm just placing well not placing i'm running water into a pot that i do not use please do not use pots that you cook in because that's nasty <laughs> so find a pot that you're not cooking and cleaning in you know what i'm saying so i'm just gonna take it over to the stove and what i'm going to do is i'm going to preheat not preheat but turn the stove on to the highest setting and we're gonna wait for this to boil this is going to be the fastest thing happening because anybody who do know that when it comes to uh, boiling hair, for some reason, this method is great for even human hair. I've done this with multiple of my wigs with um, multiple of my, my hair, my, you know, my wigs and things like that. I've boiled them and then I've, you know, placed the, the product in the boiling water and, you know, and it's revived many of my weeks, this method that I learned right here on YouTube. So as you can see, I am going to brush this wig out because that's exactly what you need to do. You're going to have to brush any, any hair that has matted over time and napped up, you know, you need to detangle before you even place it in this water. Because I've found that if you don't do this, it makes the hair worse. Even with human hair, if you do not detangle the hair before putting it in the boiling water, it makes it worse. So please do this, lady. Please, ladies, please detangle the hair and then place it in the water. And as you guys can see, the ends I am going to definitely cut because I noticed the ends get really, really, really nappy over time. I don't think I like that about synthetic wigs. They, they get matted and nappy over time where you're going to have to consistently keep cutting the ends of the hair. So as you can see, I'm still boiling the water on the stove. The water has come to a complete boil so this little blue solution you see is going to be the key to getting your wig untangled so what this is is this is detergent liquid yes you heard me right detergent liquid a lot of people don't know about this because uh, not too many people tell them so I don't know what it is about detergent liquid but I do know that it gets the wigs right definitely gets the wigs right for some reason this solution just it kind of revives the wigs it just it revives the wigs not back to his natural state but it does it does help the wig 10 times better than it was before I'm not gonna lie I am gonna have to clip the ends but that's with any wig that has matted over time gotten old one thing with synthetic we all know is that they these new quality wigs they might last a little bit longer but not as long as we're expecting well me necessarily expecting so one thing i noticed about this is if you have a wig and you want to revive it and it's synthetic use dishwashing liquid it doesn't matter what type um i preferably use that arm and hammer but it doesn't really matter detergent is detergent especially if it's liquid so as you'll see it's just sitting in here i'm gonna have it sitting in here for about five or 10 minutes before I decide to take it out. I am definitely speeding this video up because I don't want it to be long and I want you guys to just see the process. It's simple and to the point. 
I'm pretty sure y'all have seen many videos on here like this. I, well, I'm not certain. I haven't seen many or I probably haven't looked up many, but I'm pretty sure there are. But this is how I do it to revive my wigs. And this is the same method I do for even my human hair, just minus the detergent. Instead, I just use a really nice deep conditioner and revive my wigs this way. So last and final step, as you see, I'm like draining it out of the pot. And I don't know if you see when I lift it up, it just looks really shiny. I love that about, you know, revitalizing of the, the wigs. And as you see that water, it is filthy. That, it, that It's crazy how nasty that water is. So... What I'm going to basically do is I'm going to grab a bowl. Like I said, please use pots and bowls that you don't use or eat or cook in, which I don't. And I'm going to place my wig, drain it, and just place it in that bowl. And after I place it in that bowl and let it kind of drain the water in that little bowl, I'm going to brush out the wig. And I'm going to hang it on that mannequin you've seen in the beginning of the video to let dry. So in a moment, y'all, prepared to be wild. 